Hey, what's up guys? Yep, I finally lost the plot, but in this video I'm going to be talking about all the stuff I'm going to be wearing on Marathon Day. Well guys, so I finally lost the plot and I've decided to do my own human flat lay. If you don't know what a flat lay is, Google it people. Basically runners put all their stuff out the night before. And I'm sitting here, instead of putting them on the floor, I'm actually wearing them. Anyway, this is the sort of stuff I'm going to be wearing for Marathon Race Day. So in this video, like I said in the opening, we're going to be going through everything that I'm going to be wearing on race day, including the stuff that I'm going to be taking with me. So let's get stuck in. Okay, people, so Marathon Day is finally here for me, and I thought it'd be cool to share with you the sort of stuff I'm going to be taking, wearing, and all that sort of stuff. On my marathon, uh, maybe it's useful for you, let me know in the comments which marathon are you going to be doing, and maybe this is useful for you as a half marathon, but let me know in the comments which marathon or half marathon you're doing. I'll dive in there once the video drops. Right, so where do we start? Uh, let's start with shoes. Okay, so if you've not seen the video, check it out. I've done a video on the Nike Alpha Fly um, and why I'm wearing them, but I'm gonna be wearing the Nike Alpha Fly on Marathon Day, and I say, watch that video. But for me, it's just a shoe that I'm comfortable, confident in, that I can cover the distance, and it's gonna do, you know, the best job possible. Okay, in terms of like tech, let's say I've got my uh, Garmin 735 <clears throat> XT. Um, I've got my Aftershocks, earphones i've also got a garmin heart rate monitor which i don't know <coughs> where it is but check out the video i've done of that as well so i'm going to be wearing that all links up for me the 735 and i'm still on the lookout for a new watch by the way but the 735 i can just manage my pace correctly on it that's what it's all about for me so the 735 i know i've got confidence in it and the aftershocks they're legal in terms of racing and that sort of stuff they don't sit in your ear they sit outside your ear so again in terms of legality and safety they're the best option uh, okay, so other stuff uh, interested to know, maybe um, I'm going to be wearing compression calf sleeves. I prefer to use these. These are the ones from the Chimera. Um, guys, they've got um, the infrared technology in them, uh, which helps um, with sort of blood circulation, that sort of stuff. Check it out. Check out the technology. It's woven into the material. But I wear them. Uh, these are my gloves with my little cold hands. I've got to worry about my little hands. I'll be wearing those. These are, if you care, Ron Hill ones. Um, uh, but they're nice and thin, that's why I wear them, because I don't know what the weather's going to be like. Um, sunglasses, I'm going to be wearing these ones. These are just a cheap pair that I got off Amazon. I'll, I'll link it down below. You can pick them up yourself, they're like 15 quid or something. Um, I've got my 40 Runs Racer hat. You can get those on the 40 Runs store, put the link below. Lightweight, um, very breathable hat. You've probably seen me wearing it about a million times, but you can get those on the store. Um, little tip for you, um, sweatband. Take a sweatband and wear it when you're running your marathon. It you can <laughs> sounds crude. You can wipe your nose on it, wipe the sweat on it, you can clean your glasses with it. It's a really, really simple but effective bit of kit when you're out there. Talking about simple and effective bit of kit, snood. Don't know what the weather's gonna be like, so I've got a snood, whether uh, around in my neck or you know, whatever. Um, but it's a really handy bit of kit to use, and you say you can get these on the 40 round store as well. Then we've got uh, my top, I'm gonna be running in a vest, um, probably. It depends, and this is dependent on um, whether I'm uh, fueling um, sort of externally or internally. So if I'm fueling, and I've just seen it here, so let me grab it. If I'm fueling my own run, I'm gonna be running in my Energy vest, which you've probably seen. We've got the, bo uh, the bottles at the front, uh, and in these bottles, I'll come onto that, we're gonna have water and active fruit, and I'll put my um, gel pouch in there as well, but I will wear that and I'll be self-contained in that, right? So that's that, because I've been training in that, to get rid of that. But if I'm able to um, put my sort of, I don't know, food and water and kit somewhere, then I'll run in a vest, obviously a 40 runs vest. Uh, I've gone for a white one to match my other fly. See what I did that, color coded? But yeah, I wear a vest. Um, I prefer running in a vest on marathon day anyway. Um, and hopefully I can offload all that sort of fueling stuff so I don't have to worry about that. In terms of the bottom half, uh, shorts, uh, I'm gonna be wearing uh, the Nike Pro um, base layer underneath. Um, keep everything intact if you know what I mean, boys. And I'm talking about that uh, for race day. Um, I don't know if I've got it out, actually it's here. Vaseline, don't ever neglect the Vaseline on marathon day. Boys, especially undercarriage, 
and between your toes, little tip. Uh, and talk about tips, I also put KT tape, cut KT tape, put it over my nipples. Another top tip there, people. Um, yeah, it's also good. It's great, this video, isn't it? Uh, shorts, I'm gonna be wearing my Nike um, Aero shorts, uh, nice and short, lightweight, very, very breathable. Uh, I'm gonna be wearing those uh, this year for the marathon, um, basically because I'm wearing Nike shoes, see what I've done there. Uh, socks, because you guys always ask, always ask about socks. I'm gonna go with the twin skin uh, socks for this event. Um, if it was London later in April, I would have gone with a thinner sock, but because of the conditions, I don't know at the moment what it's gonna be like. So I'm gonna go with a twin skin sock at the moment. So these are the socks from Runderwear. Um, which are just awesome, I live in these things uh, anyway, but they've got two layers in them. So they're like anti-blister, and they're just super, super comfortable, and they do the job perfectly. So they're the ones, if I'm not wearing these, I'm gonna be wearing my Chimera socks. You've probably seen them, I've got pink ones and black ones, so you've probably seen them on some of the shoe reviews that we do. Okay, fueling. Always an interesting topic. Um, so fueling, I'm lucky enough that I get all my stuff sent to me by the guys at Active Root. It's not paid out, but for Active Root, by the way. Um, but we've got the gel mix from Active Root, and they've got some new flavours out, by the way. This is the Coca, 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 I don't know if it's that. Uh, peppermint and ginger, it's really nice. Um, and it's a, a mix that you make up. You put it in there, it's already got loaded up for my next run, and you take that out with you. I put that in the front of my energy vest, uh, and it turns into like, almost like a paste. Uh, to a degree, it's great uh, and it's super easy. You're not chucking gel stuff on the floor. Um, and because of the fact of um, I'm either gonna be self-sufficient or not self-sufficient, I can have these on hand really easy. But this stuff from a, um, from A6 from Active Root is awesome. In particular, if you stuff from um, stomach problems, it might be worth checking out because it's natural um, ginger. Natural ginger is obviously good for your stomach anyway. There's like sort of no naughtiness in it. It's not like you're dumping pure sugar in your stomach. So check it out, people. Worth a look. Active Root, so it's not an effort from. But talking of Active Root, because I love this stuff, love it, people. Now, I used to take LucasAid Sport when I was out there um, doing like marathons and stuff, because they basically gave it to you and stuff. But because I'm uh, fueling myself, I'm gonna have my own stuff out there. I, uh, when I'm doing my training runs, I have one of those bottles filled up with Active Fruit Electrolyte. So this has got all the stuff in it that you need in terms of electrolytes when you're out there, particularly when it's a hot day. This is perfect, but it's also, because it's got the ginger, it doesn't affect your stomach. And I don't know about you, but if I have like LucasAid Sport or something else, I'm just burping it the whole way around. Active Fruit, I've never had a problem with that. It is so good. Um, contains natural root ginger, which can help uh, prevent nausea and stomach discomfort. This stuff, I tell you, is magic. Now just put a lemon version out, which is but yeah, so that's what I will also be um, sort of fueling my runs with. So I think that's it in terms of kit for Marathon Day. Um, obviously I'm gonna turn up with my 40 runs hoodie, totally branded up, 40 runs hoodie, 40 runs rack, so you can get all this stuff on the store. Nice plug for the store, 40, well done. Um, yeah, I think that's probably about it. I think if it gets a bit naughty in terms of condition, I will wear a compression layer. I've got uh, stuff from Chimera and things like that that I'll wear as a compression base layer. Uh, that's probably the only change that I'll make other than the socks. Uh, even if it's absolutely hammering it down, I'm still going Alpha Fly. Um, and yeah, that's probably it for, for my marathon race day. Let me know in the comments. What do you use? What do you wear? How do you feel your runs on that marathon race day list them below share it out and i'll come and um and i'll come down into the comments once this video drops but that's it people that's it we're nearly there race day is nearly here wish me luck i'll catch you guys later